Horses are on the track for the first race at the Illinois State Fair, first half of the Daily Double. Win, play, show, and exact a wagering. Two-year-old pacing fillies, non-winners of $2,000 lifetime Illinois breads. Parade marshal is Fairfield-based standard bread trainer Tex Motes aboard a mule named Van, named after a good friend of his, Johnny Van Over from down in Wayne County. Here are the starters for the first, number one, Tater, owned by Bob Walker of Carrollton, Illinois. Willis Ham of Rutledge, Missouri, trained by Walker. Andy Miller is up. Two, Mac Armageddon, owned by Rodney and Deborah McCray of Atlanta, trained by Rodney McCray. Tom Simmons in the bike. Three, Fox Valley Zenobia, owned by Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker's Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, trained by Tony Alanya. Dale Heitman is up. Number four, Skedaddle, owned by Scott Rigg of Philadelphia, Missouri, trained by Bob Walker. Hart Walker will drive. Number five, Michael's Warrior, owned, trained, and driven by Springfield's Mike Brink. Number six, Legacy of Faith, owned by Charles Bob Jones of Nokomis, trained and driven by Mike Rogers. Number seven, Ask and Receive, owned by Ron and Carol Cox of Huntsville, trained by Ron Cox. It will be Matt Cox in the bike. Number eight, Sport and Diamonds, owned by Andrea Rice and Andrew Robinson of Warden, Illinois, trained by David Martin of Greenville. The driver is Tony Morgan. Number nine, Major Glory, owned by Karen and David Avenetti of Broadlands, trained and driven by David Avenetti. And number 10, Winning Rainbow, owned by Earl and Elizabeth Avenetti of Christman, trained by Earl Avenetti Sr. Earl Avenetti Jr. is in the bike. Today is Senior Citizens Day at the Illinois State Fair. Here they come for the first of our 10 harness races. Sport and Diamonds off stride. The rest are off in pacing. Major Glory grabs the racetrack. Legacy of Faith is right there. Mac Armageddon comes out a close up third, and there goes Mac Armageddon up to get the lead at the entry to the first turn. Legacy of Faith goes second up on the outside, and Legacy of Faith is determined to have the lead. Legacy of Faith takes over by one length, going to the quarter mile mark, and Mac Armageddon will settle into the second position. They are followed closely by Major Glory, who settles third on the rail. Another two lengths back to Skedaddle, who's racing in fourth. 29 seconds for the opening quarter. Tater is racing fifth and now comes off the rail five lengths off the lead. Then Michael's warrior, Fox Valley Zenobia, who is eight lengths from the front. Ask and receive is next. Winning Rainbow is a dozen lengths off the lead. And two more to Sportin' Diamonds, who is last. And Tater has taken the lead after three-eighths of a mile. Tater is on top by two and a half lengths. It is Legacy of Faith, who's racing in the second position past the half-mile mark. McArmageddon is third, the half in 58 and two-fifth seconds. Here comes Fox Valley Zenobia to the outside. Fox Valley Zenobia from fifth to second, and now to take the lead at the entry to the far turn. Fox Valley Zenobia on top by one length. Tater is second. Legacy of Faith is third, three lengths off the lead. And then Mac Armageddon around the far turn, followed by Major Glory up on the outside, who is six lengths from the front, keeping Skedaddle pinned down toward the inside of horses. Then Ask and Receive, followed by Winning Rainbow. Three quarters and one, 28 and one. Fox Valley Zenobia opens up on a three length lead off the far turn. Here comes Mac Armageddon from fourth to third to second, but still a long way from the leader and only an eighth of a mile to catch the leader. Fox Valley Zenobia leads it by five lengths, and Mac Armageddon goes second. Tater dropping back. Legacy of Faith goes to third. Fox Valley Zenobia is going to take the opener at the Illinois State Fair for Dale Heitman. Fox Valley Zenobia by three. Mac Armageddon was second. Legacy of Faith was third in 157 and one. Moving into the winner's circle for the first race, the official winner of the first half of the Daily Double, number three, Fox Valley Zenobia, Dale Heitman, the winning driver. Owned by Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker's Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, who bred this incredible finale filly. This filly is trained by Tony Alanya of Sherman. He comes from a harness racing family. Tony's father, Pete and his mother, Donna Lee Osmond, both Standard Bread trainers, so this young man grew up around these equine athletes. And you might remember a year ago, do you remember when Tony Alanya teamed up with Dale Heitman for a win in the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes two-year-old Philly Pace Championship with Fox Valley Coquette? Well, it's been proven to be a potent combination. A new lifetime record for this two-year-old Philly, 157 and one.